Dear Melissa, one of my product managers is asking me what he needs to do to become a senior product manager and get this new title as a result of his next performance review. Our structure is small, only three product teams, so there really won't be a change of responsibilities from moving from product manager to senior product manager unless we grow. It would just be a change of title. I tend to think that no matter how well this person is doing to be considered a senior PM, you need at least four to five years of experience. It is kind of weird to call someone senior with less than three years of experience on the job. Is it the same for a startup than for a bigger company? Can a PM become senior faster in a startup? Any tips on measuring the seniority as a product manager? So I do think in startup environments, people can get to the senior title faster than a big company. Why? Because you ship faster. You do things faster. You actually produce. So I would not go on complete time here. Like I wouldn't look at that. If the person is performing at the level of a senior product manager, they deserve that title. I'll put that out there. And you do see people level up in startups way faster than big companies because they can produce like 10 times as much that a big company does because you can just ship faster. So think about that. Besides that though, why does this person wanna be a senior product manager? Do they feel like they're actually doing the role of a senior product manager? When I look at a senior product manager, they're doing the same things as a product manager, but they need really little oversight. They need really little coaching on individual contributor product manager roles. So they know how to do these things cold and they can oversee a really large complicated scope of a product feature set, let's say. Uh, I'm not talking about a whole product. They probably can't oversee a whole product, but they can oversee a lot more work and you don't have to worry about them. They're just able to run, right? They're able to do things. That's how I measure seniority, right? Are they actually showing that they're growing as a product manager? You don't have to worry about them day and night. You don't have to give them a ton of direction. You just have to point them in the right direction, explain the vision, explain the goals, and they can run. If they can do that, they're pretty much a senior product manager. If they can't do that, they're not at that level yet. Um, I've had people who have been really young and early in their career, and they're just gunning for that senior product management title. And a lot of those people are actually coming from places like banks or consulting. And they had a thing where like after two years, you become a senior something. After four years, some of them are VPs in banks. So the titles in these types of environments are very different than the titles in uh, startups and software. Now, your person might be expecting that, and you might have to have a reconciliation there about what a senior PM actually looks like, but they should be extremely competent in those things. Also great at engaging with stakeholders, great at presenting, great at storytelling, great at connecting the dots of what they're doing back up to leadership and explaining how it all comes together. If the person can't do that, they're not really at a senior product management level yet, and that's okay. You can tell them what they need to do to get there. So I'd really try to figure out why this person is gunning for the role. Do they feel like they're actually doing all those things right now? And do you feel like they're doing all those things right now? They might have different expectations than reality. Um, or are they just expecting it because they come from a different you know, line of work and they should have senior title already in a different place, like a bank or something like that. I'd really kind of dig into that and kind of suss out what's going on. You can always incentivize two people with like a little bit of a pay raise instead of bumping them up to a senior title. Even if you have three teams, if that person's really performing, like three teams, you might be overseeing a ton of scope. That person might be overseeing actually a lot. Your product might be a little big and you could use a couple more people and this person is just like breaking their butt, really performing, then they kind of deserve that that senior title. Even if you feel like the scope hasn't been like dramatically changed from what they're doing right now. You have to take into account where your product is right now and how much this person is overseeing. So I dive into those factors, really have a good conversation with them about how you value them and you really want them to be here. And there's going to be growth opportunities, but you're not just quite at senior level yet. Or if they are, bump them up, give them that title change if you believe that there's somebody to retain and they're actually doing that job. 